What's good? What's good? I am back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast. This is episode 120. Um, let me get a little sip of my soda before we get started. First things first, we got to shout out sponsors. We get this podcast sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. You need online marketing and promotion for your music, product, brand, or service. Please check out the link below scrolling. Promopalace.biz. Also, for shizzle, do you dizzle? Yes, I dizzle. Check out dizzlebrand.com. Mixture of, gav- of, uh, mixture of agave tequila, cognac, orange liquor, mango mix. Throw it on some ice, some lemon. is good to go. Check out dizzlebrand.com. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and more. It's about a dozen recipes. You go order Dizzle Brand um, t-shirts, hats, and more. We got the hat right here on dizzlebrand.com. Also, um, you go order bottles online as well. We got two online order links, and I handle the Facebook and the TikToks for Dizzle Brand as well. So don't forget to follow those. Um, before I get started, don't forget that um, my podcast, the video version, goes to YouTube. Facebook, Instagram TV, and Rumble. Um, follow us on Rumble. Also, the audio version goes to uh, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, TuneIn, Stitcher, Slacker, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Podchaser, Podcast Attic, and much more, much more. Um, first thing first, let me do, like I always do, pull up the um, any scores for the NBA or NFL, since NFL was not playing right now, we're going to pull up the um, scores for the NBA last night. Let me get my keyboard here. Bam. Bear with me. Oh, Kyrie Irving erupts for 60 points last night. I mean... Not shocking. Kyrie being Kyrie. All right, Memphis beat the uh, Pacers 135-102. to Who would have knew? Brooklyn crushed the Orlando Magic, which they should have. Even when Kevin, even if they didn't have Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant and the boys should have beat Orlando Magic. There's no way. You can't give me a legit reason Orlando Magic should beat Brooklyn. And Orlando Magic doesn't have no legit star on a team that should be able to outdo any of the top two stars for Brooklyn. Uh, Miami beat Detroit, and Detroit's actually been keeping games pretty close from what I see. And Phoenix beat New Orleans 131 to 115. We'll go over my pull up these standings. We're going to give you the pause power picks for the Paul Pickett podcast. And, of course, the play. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to change too much. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, number one, I'm going with. Number one, who am I going? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Number one, I'm going with the uh, Miami Heat. Number two, I'm going with the Milwaukee Bucks. Number three, I'm going with the Memphis Grizzlies. Number four, I'm going with the Golden State Warriors. And number five, Phoenix Suns. And Phoenix Suns will be higher, but Chris Paul's out. And if they start the playoffs today without Chris Paul, they're not the same team. So that's what I take into account. Even though Phoenix is still number one overall record, they're six and four in the last 10. So that means they've lost four in the last 10. And Chris Paul doesn't be hurt. They're probably more like eight and two, nine and one. You know, so you got to take that into account. And you got to take into account which team's full health. Like Warriors just got Draymond back to Clay um, starting to get his feet under. And Philadelphia, they done lost two games that I'm just, like, scratching my head now. I don't know, man. Maybe this James Harden thing isn't going to work out. 
Right now, you got the play on te- playing teams for the uh, East: is Toronto, Brooklyn, Atlanta, and Charlotte. Much as I love my Charlotte Hornets, man, I don't think we're we're going to be making the playoffs this year. Any one of those teams could just beat us in a one game series. Because the way it bro- way it breaks down is like right now, Atlanta will play Charlotte, the ninth seed will play the tenth seed. The winner of that will play the winner of – or plays the loser of the 7th and 8th seed. So, like, whoever wins the 7th and 8th, they automatically go on. And then the loser has to play the winner of the other game, and they get another chance to possibly beat that team and go in, you know. So, you know, that's actually fair when you think about it. It's actually really fair. It is. It is. All right, so let me get into some of these. Um, I guess the number one topic of the day is Tom Brady announces on retiring. I don't even really want to say that he's unretiring. We can't even really call this unretiring. You know why? Because he just played last season, and the new season hasn't even started. So I don't consider this unretiring because you have to be out for a whole season as far as I'm concerned, for it to be retired. Um, it doesn't shock me one bit. I don't know why he left anyways. I don't know if it had anything to do with his wife. And I know as soon as he retired, I seen on the tabloids that their relationship wasn't doing too well. But you never know it's tabloids. That could be bogus and false, you know. But, I mean, the guy literally had an MVP-like season last year, so why would he retire? I would never retire from sports when I'm still, like, better than most. If not the best, still better than most. So uh, let me get on to some of these other topics. We got Mitchell Trubisky to the Steelers, two-year deal. I think $10 million a year. Um, It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade for what they have. Roethlisberger's old. Mason Rudolph definitely showing that he ain't got what it takes. And they got Dwayne Haskins, but, I mean, this guy was literally just drafted to a team, you know, like a year or two ago, a few years, not even two or three years ago, and literally they already moved on. That's the thing, man. These quarterbacks, some of them are coming out so good so early. Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrows, um, Lamar Jacksons, Russell Wilson when he came out. These guys are coming out and MVP-like seasons, you know what I'm saying? Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, a lot of these young dudes are coming out early out the gate and showing they got it. So I agree with these teams. That you know, two years. I two years is enough to see if you got it or not. Two full years is enough to see if you got it or not, and if not, move on. You know, some of these dudes have more than that. Baker Mayfield's had a little bit more than that. Sam Darnold, I think, had three years damn near before they moved on from him. And and Sam Darnold clearly after year two was didn't have it. Um, Jarvis Landry cut for the Browns. Um, that kind of goes in with this. They traded uh the Browns traded for Amari Cooper. And I don't know that Amari Cooper is better than Jarvis Landry. Amari Cooper is definitely definitely too overpaid, highly overpaid for his production. I don't know what the Browns are expecting out of this. If they're expecting this to get them over the hump to a Super Bowl, they missed the playoffs last year. Uh, this is probably Baker's last year to show if he's got what it takes to go forward moving as a Brown quarterback. And all due respect, if the Browns do move on from Baker, they could easily plummet back into Browns territory, the bad, bad, bad Browns. I mean, most of my life, the Browns have been pretty – Awful or mediocre. So 
I don't know. I'm, I'm just a little confused. You cut Jarvis Landry. You bring in Amari Cooper. I don't know if that's much of an upgrade at all. We'll see. We'll see how it works for the Browns. And definitely Dallas is thinking that C.D. Lamb is good enough to be the number one option. But that doesn't always work out for guys. You know, look what happened to um, old boy from the Steelers. I can't even think of his name right now because he's Juju Smith-Schuster. Like, as a number two, he was great. As a number one, he don't got what it takes. That rhymes. That rhymes. As a number two, he's great. As a number one, he don't have what it takes. Yeah, that's just the facts. Uh, so, yeah, Browns, and, and that was one of my topics. Brown traded for Mari Cooper and Jarvis Landry cut. So that all ties in together. And Devontae informs he won't play on franchise tag. Um, I get where the cat's coming from. But he is going to make $20 million on a franchise tag. And the way football works, most wide receivers don't get that kind of money. You know, most running backs, wide receivers, normally it's um, maybe defensive guys you would pay like that. But uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play out. Uh, if I was him, I would play on a franchise tag and bet on yourself. It worked out for Kirk Cousins, who I'm going to get into as well. Uh, Kirk Cousins has been like the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, has one of the best agents. Um, Cuz he bet on himself. Devontae Adams should bet on himself, uh, play on a franchise tag. Don't worry about it. Even if, because that's the thing, even if, you don't play for Green Bay after next year. There's a team that's going to give him a big contract if he just bet on himself, man. And I know Aaron Rodgers says, you know, he got to have his guy back. I haven't heard Aaron Rodgers comment on this yet. I wonder what his opinion is. What's his take on this? But if I'm Devontae, I go ahead and take that $20 million. Most football players don't make $20 million a year anyways. Not at all. Kirk Cousins signs one year extension for thirty five million. Kirk, I mean, oh my gosh, Kirk Cousins has the best, the very best agent in football. He does. I mean, this guy played on a franchise tag for like two or three years in Washington and bettered himself every year. Got a big, huge contract. I mean, thirty five million, man, for a cat that probably won't even get to the playoffs ever again. And, and let me take that back. Vikings, I mean, Vikings got a little squad over. They got Justin Jefferson. They got a, um, they got Cook. They, they should make the playoffs next year. They definitely should make the playoffs this year, especially if you're paying $35 million to Kirk Cousins. And Kirk Cousins is a great guy, man, great guy. Um, he doesn't never cheat you. He never cheats you. You know, he's just not a great quarterback. He's a competent quarterback, a good quarterback, maybe above, slightly, slightly above average quarterback, slightly above average quarterback. But Kirk Cousins definitely got the best agent in the world. And Devontae Adams need to take Kirk Cousins' lead. Go ahead and play on it. Bet on yourself. Play on the franchise tag because I'm telling you, you're going to get a big contract out of it regardless. Because if he's not the best wide receiver in the league, he's the second best. Zach Ertz, three-year deal to the Cardinals. Well, I don't know how this – Bodes well for um, Kyler Murray's contract, but you would think Kyler Murray would be pretty ecstatic about Zach Ertz coming to the Cardinals. That means they got two legit receivers, a legit tight end. I mean, the running game is pretty good with Kyler Murray and the boys. I don't know how this is going to pan out. I mean, 
you could end up seeing the Deshaun Watson for Kyler Murray trade. I can see that happening, especially if Kyler Murray, you know, still makes it known that he's unhappy. I mean, all due respect to Kyler Murray, he just got to the playoffs for the first time, and he got beat. You know, once you – these cats that don't win playoff games yet be expected a lot of money. I mean, they're living in fantasy worlds. They're living in fantasy worlds. Can you at least win a playoff game before you expect a shit ton of money from a team? Can you at least win a playoff – get to the playoffs and win a playoff game before you expect a shit ton of money? Because if you haven't done that, I mean, why why would any franchise pay you a shit ton of money if you can't at least get to the playoffs and win a game? So I don't know how this is going to pan out because Kyler Murray wants a shit ton of money. Uh, Zach Ertz just got a three-year deal, and he got some money. And it could be just he's going to be the tight end for the next quarterback at Arizona. Because if they trade Deshaun Watson for Kyler Murray, and Deshaun Watson goes back with his boy, Hopkins again, D. Hopkins. They he got AJ Green and Zach Ertz. I mean, that sounds like a situation Deshaun Watson should want to sprint to. He should want to run to the Arizona Cardinals with Zach Ertz, D. Hop, and AJ Green on the other side. And that running game would be good with with Deshaun Watson and the boys. And I honestly think, man, you could really that. Don't be shocked if you see Kyler Murray get traded to Houston, Texas. I either see Deshaun Watson to the Arizona for Kyler Murray, or Deshaun Watson to the Browns for uh, Baker Mayfield. And for the Texans, Baker Mayfield might be a good, competent quarterback. I don't know if he gets him to the playoffs or what, but um. Yeah, Mike could be as, as competent of a quarterback as they could get right now. Who knows? Um, Kyler Murray would be a hell of a lot better if they could get Kyler Murray for Deshaun Watson. And if I'm Arizona, I jump on that in a heartbeat. I jump on that in a heartbeat. You know, if I'm Arizona, man. So, yeah, there's a lot of movement going on. And, matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull up this NFL.com, see if we got any. More movement going on. Uh, Bucks quarterback coach. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not not seeing no. Big ones. Not seeing any really big ones. Uh, I mean, the Dolphins picked up Teddy Bridgewater. I guess that that is so he'll be a backup to uh, to Tua Tungaloa. And that's another one to look out for. Look out for um, Deshaun Watson to Miami because – um, according to Adam Schefter, I mean, it could be this week you could get a deal because, I mean, they're all behind the scenes trying to talk up a deal now that um, Deshaun Watson isn't going to jail on criminal charges. And Teddy Bridgewater has been bouncing around and bouncing around. I mean, he's had his shots. Brian Hoyer resigning two year contract. With New England. New England likes to keep those guys that they know. Let's see. Uh, and could the Bengals signed uh, two offensive linemen, of course. Because their O line, the Bengals O line was very, very shaky. Um, they, they fixed that up. They could be right back in the hunt, but I don't, I don't see him back in the hunt at all. Uh, Mark Cooper acquired a trade at Dallas exchange for two down fifth round, six rounders. I mean, they really didn't give up a fifth and a sixth rounder for Mari Cooper, who's highly overpaid. Um, 
they signed a, a wide receiver, Jakeem Grant, three year deal. David, no, no, uh, David Joku got the franchise tag. Pittsburgh, of course, the Mitchell Trubisky, two years, 14 million. It's worth up to 27. And Dwayne Haskins, re, uh, Received original restricted free agent trender worth 2.5. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of big moves. Uh, Jacksonville signed some wide receivers, Zay Jones and Christian Kirk, four years, 72 million, and three years, 24 million. Cam Robinson on a franchise tag, tight end Evan Ingram, one year deal. Yeah, there's no really – I mean, the Denver, um, we already talked about that, Russell Wilson. They also picked up offensive tackle, linebacker. And I'm hearing that um, that old boy, Von Miller, what, what, uh, has no problem going back to Denver. What, like, is actually – would like to go back to Denver because of Russell Wilson being there. Chargers, of course, picked up Khalil Mack. Um, to Marcus Lawrence, new three-year deal, forty million contract with the Cowboys. Of course, they uh, re-signed five-year deal. Michael Gallup. I don't know, uh, man. I don't know what Dallas be doing that. Michael Gallup is. I mean, he's good, but Giants signed Tyrod Taylor. Of course, he's been all over the dang place. I guess. Two year deal. Um, I guess that's just some, have some stability at quarterback, even though I don't got no stability at quarterback really. Travis Kelsey's brother, Jason Kelsey, center for the Eagles, signed a new contract, new one year, fourteen million. Of course, the Carson went to the um, Washington. Yeah, there's no really – I mean, Detroit Lions signed a ton of people, but – Yeah. Yeah, Devontae Adams, of course. Uh, what else we got? Kirk Cousins, uh, Phillips. I mean, there's nothing really – Chris Godwin got the franchise tag from um, Tampa Bay. Colt McCoy resigns two year contract with Arizona. James Conner signs a three year deal. And that's right, Arizona. That's who uh, Arizona's running back. Zach Ertz, his deal was three years, $31 million. And then they re signed a defensive end linebacker. Rams didn't really make too many moves like they needed to. Super Bowl champs. And I, Seahawks, being they got Drew Locke in that trade for, for Russell Wilson, they'll probably be looking for a quarterback. Definitely. Yeah, there's no real, real big moves besides the ones I talked about. Um, those are the moves that are really going to have the effect. Tom Brady on retires. Mitchell Trubisky of the Steelers. Interesting to see how that goes. Jarvis Landry cut. Interesting to see who picks up Jarvis Landry. Watch out for Jarvis Landry to like Tampa Bay or maybe the Chiefs or who knows, man. Maybe maybe the Cowboys. Um, the Devontae Adams thing is going to be very interesting. Is he going to sit out? Because if he sits out, and he doesn't like he's not in the like some of the games at the start of the season. That's not gonna be good for Green Bay. It's not gonna be real good at all. Aaron Rodgers would not be happy about that. Kirk Cousins, one year deal extension. I mean, damn, man, this guy. Whew. If I make it why well, I need an agent, I need an agent like Kirk Cousins. The Zach Ertz to the Cardinals, I think, is a big deal, especially where the Cardinals were at last year. And depending on if they keep Kyler Murray or they trade for Deshaun Watson, 
they could easily be contending for a Super Bowl next year. Even if Ky- they keep Kyler Murray, he'll be a year better. Zach Ertz, a healthy D. Hopkins, A.J. Green, uh, James Conner signed a three-year deal. And then Amari Cooper is going to be interesting with the Browns. Um, Baker Mayfield definitely is going to be under pressure. If he wants to get any kind of big contract from the Browns, he better come out there, ball out. You got Amari Cooper. You got whatever other pieces you got. You got two good running backs. I mean, your running backs are so solid. You got two of the best running backs in the league. The defense is solid. Um, Yeah, it's going to be a lot on Baker Mayfield's shoulders this year. This year. And I really really hope Mitchell Trubisky – had, I want to. I want Mitchell Trubisky to be successful with um, with the Steelers. And why is that? Because he's a Tar Heel baby. He's a North Carolina Tar Heel. I gotta show him love and support. I definitely do. Uh, so we're about to wrap it up. Episode one twenty. Paul Pickett podcast. Um, don't forget follow me on Rumble, YouTube. Facebook, Instagram TV for the video version. Also, I'll take the video version pre-recorded and I'll stream it live on three of my Twitter accounts. Twitter at Promo Palace LLC, Twitter at Paul P Podcast, and Twitter at Paul W Pickett. Also, the audio version will be uploaded to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, TuneIn, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Player FM, and much more. You can Google Paul Pickett Podcast. You see the name above me, Paul Pickett Podcast. You'll see uh, dozens and dozens of sites will pop up along with press release that we put out for episode 100. Um, also, let me shout out my sponsors before I go. Um, don't forget, if you need online market promotion for your music, your product, your brand, and your service, please check out promopowers.biz. I am the owner of promopals.biz. We're a one-stop shop. We promote every platform you can think about. Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, MP3 promotion, the record pools, DJs, blogs, press releases, all social media ads you can think about, any kind of form of advertising you can think about, SEO services, and much, much more. And last but not least, do you dizzle? Yes, I dizzle. Check out dizzlebrand.com. Order bottles online. Order the merch online. You got the hoodies, the t-shirts. We got the hats. Also, you got a dozen recipes on there you can mix your dizzle with. Dizzle, a mixture of agave, tequila, cognac, orange liquor, mango mix. Just throw it on ice. It's good to go. We have not heard one bad review about Dizzle yet. Dizzle is going to be bigger than than effing vodka. Whoever even heard of effing vodka? Dizzle is going to be better than bigger than than um than Puffs Joint. I don't even know the name of it right now because it can't compete with Dizzle. Hennessy, psh, nah. Dizzle for shizzle. Once again, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I'm your host, Paul Pickett, Paul Pickett Podcast, aka the Common Sense Podcast, aka Triple P, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. Peace, and I'm out.